What's up guys, we're about an hour away from the coast of Oregon here at Guy Fieri's favorite spot in Eugene. This is Fisherman's Market. Let's go try it, come on. You want to get some of the freshest seafood in Oregon? This is where you get it. Look at this. You literally pick your crabs alive, and then they'll boil them up for you, put them on a plate, and you can enjoy it. That's as fresh as it gets. Salmon pepperoni. Oh, wow. Salmon pepperoni. Okay, and I'll get you some halibut jerky. Mm. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a, like an actual sausage, but inside, instead of like meat, it's salmon. And it's still got that pop to it. Oh, that's so good. That's interesting. This is our halibut jerky. Oh, wow, jerky. And then you guys, salmon on a stick. Oh, salmon on a stick. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Let's try this halibut jerky. Oh, my God. I didn't even know this was possible. I turned fish into jerky. I don't even know how to begin eating this. Bite it, bite it like a popsicle. Salmon on a stick. First time for everything. Here's my first first bite of salmon on a stick. Oh my god, Jake. This place is incredible. It's like beef jerky also, but it's like cold, nice salmon on the inside. Mm. Don't you get the old lady in it. <laughs> um, it has Put muscles. Lady. I don't see it, has, uh, it has it. muscles, clams, sausage, a half a crab, corn on the cob, potatoes, oh. and our Cajun spicy butter. And so how is that like prepared? It's a boil bag. Oh, so, so you boil you, the whole bag? You boil the whole bag and everything and then for 25 minutes and then you dump it in a bowl. Let me show you what these guys have done. YouTube but you gotta put me in it though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put me in it. Put me in there and all that. That's why you do that. Wow. My question is, is how good is it though? Hey. Off the chain. It's off the chain. Hey, if y'all want some of the best, come to Fisherman's Market in Eugene, Oregon. You get some of the best seafood, some of the best prices, and some of the friendliest people. Come holler at these folks. We've been, awesome. we've been doing it four years. Four years. <laughs> what you doing with this crawfish? You sucked the head off that crawfish. <laughs> Damn! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> My sister is a goddamn. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> so this is a sturgeon. Oh my oh, god. Oh wow. That's huge. How many people will that feed? Uh... Could One? <laughs> probably 10 people, maybe. Wow. And, and how often do you like go through them? Uh, we go through about three a week. Three a week. And then how fresh are they? They, uh, as soon as we ask for them, they kill them. Wow. And how many of these you got in the back? Uh, this is my only one right now. Oh, so that's how fresh it is. It's literally like made to order. If you order it, you can get it. That's it. We're getting out of halibut right now. Oh, oh wow. Look how huge that oh is. Oh my god. Uh, probably 40 pounds. Jeez, he's getting his workout just holding the fish for us. And that's, it has no head. That's insane, man. Thank you for bringing that out here. Yeah. Oh my god. Take a picture next big, to it. Almost bigger Where's than up? he is. Which one? Oh, oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> right, I got my heavy duty boots on. <laughs> it bled a little bit. That's why you gotta put your heavy duty boots on. <laughs> hey man, that's what happens when you come to a fish market. We've seen a lot of fish. Now let's order some, cause I'm hungry. And then we want to get a uh, like a Dungeness crab. So if you're squeamish, don't watch this next part. But they're gonna prepare our crab. So let's get it. All right, rip the back off. That's the face. Take the face off. The gills, just like that. All the guts. It's area. You know what I mean? Make sure you get all that crap out. You don't want to eat that. Here we go. No, no. Get the rest of the face. Take her over here to the sink. Give him a nice rinse. Just like goes. that. Just like that, my man. Quick and easy. Maybe. Quick and easy. No worries, my man. This is the real reason we found this spot. Guy Fury actually signed the wall. And as you can see, the different color because they repainted the wall, but they framed off his signature and his little picture here. That's cool. That's a memory right there. I'm pretty sure he does that at every restaurant. In too. 2014 is when it happened. August of 2014. Okay, guys. So this restaurant is awesome so far. From what I see, they're so welcoming. Everyone that's even here, even just the customers, everyone's so kind, and they're really living by this place being the freshest, 
best fish market you could even go to. And I, I honestly have to agree, just being in here and just tasting those little samples, everything is off the chain in here. And there, there, there's a reason why Guy Fieri came here and said that this was one of his favorite spots. It's because from what we had so far, it is damn good. So now, I'm gonna drink my beer and wait for our food, and then we'll let you guys really know how this place is. And there is the finished product. are our delicious looking tacos. I just had to confirm which one was which because honestly they kind of look the same. But right here we got our wahoo which is a fried fish. We got our halibut which is grilled. And then we got our swordfish which is smoked. And damn they look good. Look at that. That's like a busting taco if I've ever seen one. Shit, three. This one Jake, this is a sleeve roller for sure, okay? So we're gonna, I say we dive into these tacos first, man. They're calling out. It. I'm gonna go for the swordfish. I'm gonna go for the wahoo. <laughs> these tacos are huge. They're not like just little street tacos. Oh, they're not just like little street tacos. Like this is a full size taco right here. And I'm ready to dig in. So here we go. Mmm. Oh my God. Such a good smoky taste to it. Wow. The tartar sauce on that one's like creamy. Yeah. Oh. It's so creamy. All of them. They douse them in the sauce, and I think it makes it that much time that much better. Oh, that one's really good too. Oh wow, that one's fire. That one's really fire. I never even heard of a wahoo fish until this moment when I saw it on the on the menu. The swordfish has a very smoky uh -huh. barbecue. When you take charcoal at a campsite and you put it down, and then the next morning you wake up and you smell uh -huh. that smell, that's the way that tastes. Very yeah. like oh. And this other one has got a nice solid crunch to it because of the fish. It's very flaky, but still at the same time inside is tender and juicy. And with the sauce, the sauce on it and the coleslaw and everything, that makes it super creamy. And just overall, right. like, you just want to fall asleep. So this one right here is halibut, which is one of my favorite fish. I think it's a white fish. It's one of my favorite fish. I eat them at home all the time. Here we go. Grilled halibut fish taco. Man, that's juicy. Delicious, it's like it's fighting back in your mouth. That's how damn good it is. Came alive again. There's so much juice in that fish. A lot of times when you fry fish, it becomes dry. And you lose all and the you flavor. You need to put a lot of sauce in it or lemon or something like that to bring the juice back. This, they know what they're doing there. They know the perfect temperature to cook the fish. That's all they do is cook fresh fish. Fresh fish all day long. That just tastes so good. And obviously, you can tell it's good by all the people that are here. This place is packed, the outside is packed, everyone's here for a good vibe and good food. Wow. And that's what they did. So I've never had oysters like this before. Every time I've had an oyster, you know, it's with the shell, you slurp it out, or maybe it's a baked oyster, but never fried. So this, this is almost gonna be like a calamari type of style of an oyster. <laughs> oh wow. my god, that same classic delicious oyster flavor, but now deep fried and battered with this breaded and breaded crummy area. Man, it takes fish and chips to the next level. I think oysters should be the, the substitute for fish and chips now, because this is good. Hi guys. Hello. I'm Kristen, I'm a supervisor. Nice Hi. to meet you. Are you doing a YouTube video? Yeah. So this is what we're famous for. These are our crawfish pies. Oh. So I wanted to bring it over you're here. You're the best. Oh my god, thank there. you so yeah, much. Thank you, perfect timing too. You're ready. <laughs> wow, that was really sweet of them to bring on over this, this meal that they're actually famous for. This is a crab cake right here. So let's go into it. I think we should get a shot of us breaking it open because Oh, whoa, not like that, Judge Judy. Oh, it's fluffy. Oh, oh my god. Go for it. Slide that over. Hot? I better be prepared for that. <laughs> it's like a it's like a clam chowder, a spicy clam chowder. Oh, wow. Baked it. into a like a pot pie. Look at that guys. That looks good. Mmm, it's creamy, but still like, and there's a little bit of a Cajun spice to it. Mmm, wow. That's stuff all over the place. Hey, you know what Carlos Jr. says, if it's not all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. We ain't at Carlos Jr., son. <laughs> Crab cake, also delicious. But now I want to jump into something that this place literally has plastered all over the wall, and that's crabs. Let's try this fresh crab and see what it's like, man. As you guys know, in I think the world right now, there's like a shortage of crabs. 
So crabs are, the price for them are through the roof. So this is like an honor for us to be eating this. So I did see when Guy Fieri came here, he loved the coleslaw. So maybe we start with the coleslaw and then we'll move to the crab. Yeah. All right. Look not, at that. that not looks, a huge coleslaw fan. Not a whole coleslaw guy either, but this one doesn't look nearly as creamy as I normally see coleslaw. Mm. It's a, it's a little tart, like the lime makes it a little bit tart, but I can see it mixed together, like it would be fire with something. Yeah. Cut up. Damn, you got a big piece. All right, here's our crabs. Dunk it into some butter. Oh, wow. I'm gonna see a doctor for you my ready? cholesterol. I have to do this, man. Mm. That's good crab. Airy, fluffy, just really good. Really good, man. Like I, I don't think I don't remember the last time I had this crab like this. You know, it's just been so hard to get. Honestly, basically without the butter, it just it's good. so tasty. It doesn't need butter, guys. You don't need to dip it. But yeah, it is. It is a pain though to get this thing out. It's almost so a pain that I don't want to put lemon on. I just want to eat it. By the time you get it open, it's already like a, it's broken up into so many pieces now that I'm just like, screw it. Let me just eat it. It's juicy and it's delicious, man. That's really out of this world. Wow. I like this. Honestly, this place is good. This place deserves even more recognition. So if you're in Eugene, Oregon, swing by. Please Everyone's do. so kind, so nice. They got the Chick-fil-A fries. And those are good. Those are waffle fries, baby. Say it for what it is. A waffle fry. We're gonna finish eating all this food because we got a lot of food in front of us and then we'll check back after. Let's do it. Wow, guys. Eugene, Oregon knows what to do when it comes to fresh fish. If you're in Eugene, make sure you swing by Fisherman's Market. Everyone's so nice and so kind and the food is so good. You guys can see just how good the food is by how packed it is behind me. If you're in the area, swing by. But that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, pick up some merch, brennataylor.com, the hottest merch in the game. Subscribe to the gaming channel by clicking the annotation in the corner. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. Oh, it's